Hello everyone, um, welcome again to the channel. I want to mention to you this uh, recent story that I found a bit uh, ridiculous and just plainly absurd in my opinion. It's about um, this story, the gist of it is that there is this company that is called Russian Novatech Green Energy that is operating the pipeline infrastructure in Poland and uh, this comes in the context that um, Gazprom recently stopped the flow of uh, Russian gas to the country, to Poland because they refused to open a bank account in Gazprom Bank in Russia and deposit the amount that is owed to the company in euros which will then be exchanged in a Russian exchange for, uh, for rubles and they didn't agree to that let's remember that the reason for this move from the side of Russia was because all the accounts that Russia had in Europe were frozen so they basically stole the money from Russia literally that's what it is, they stole the money they kept it, they are not going to give it back, they already said it out loud so this is uh, basically piracy, illegal actions um, now they want to expropriate the infrastructure so that and this is the ridiculous part of this you know they imagine that by ordering Russian Novatec to handle control of the infrastructure will magically you know restore the gas for Poland and <laughs> That is just incredible to to see politicians that they don't know anything about engineering. Absolutely don't know anything about engineering and they are plainly trying to steal the gas and don't pay for it. Now this is uh, so easy for just Gazprom to close the pipeline close the pipeline, you know, you're going to steal our gas, you're not going to pay for it so we close the pipeline and nobody else is going to get the gas so I, I don't know if uh, these politicians have a brain already, you know, this is really absolutely ridiculous I don't know what they do they imagine is going to happen but anyway, that they are so bent on kind of hurting Russia when they they are in fact hurting their economies, hurting their own citizens because there are no alternatives and now this is new they are thinking of a uranium ban now let's take a look at this um, the main thing is that they, they are planning to put sanctions on uranium imports from Russia and here is the thing that um, this will hit the supply of uranium that fuels the blocks and re referring to European Union Russian built power reactors as well as new nuclear projects managed by Russia's Rosatom Rosatom is a um, Russian based company and they have some branches in Europe and they are planning to hurt Russia with this move and in general you know Germany says that they are okay with oil sanctions uh, but they want to actively support an oil phase out and yes a price cap and a ban on Russian uranium it's not clear how soon sanctions on nuclear imports to the EU could be imposed but here is the important part, it says the EU imports almost all of its uranium from outside the bloc so they don't produce any uranium about 20% comes from Russia not allowed you will think, 20% is not a big chunk 
the second biggest supplier to the EU after Niger so Niger is the number one uh, supplier apparently and Germany is a fierce opponent of nuclear energy and is aiming to shut down its remaining nuclear plants by the end of the year which is a very silly move in my opinion because um, despite what uh, most people think nuclear energy doesn't provide any carbon footprint you know is uh, carbon free energy yes there are some implications as far as the environment and it needs to be handled correctly to avoid contaminations and all kinds of things but it's basically green energy they just don't like it so they are shooting themselves in the foot they close all, most of their nuclear power power plants if they had kept those plants open they wouldn't need gas so how silly this is uh, they have they shut down all the nuclear power plants that didn't produce any kind of um, carbon contamination or carbon and you know just uh, debris or output from operating the plants and they they are instead of using their own nuclear power plants they are getting their energy from some somewhere else instead of producing them themselves and the situation of France is very particular more than 70 percent of its electricity comes from nuclear power plants and they are planning to buy even more um, he said that Macron wants to build 40 new reactors by 2050 and they continue to develop renewables um, France is the only EU member that maintains a nuclear weapons program so this is just kind of not uh, a specific uh, thing related to energy it's just a kind of rele relevant information but it doesn't pertain to energy on its own France doesn't rely on Russia for its uranium imports and it mainly gets its fuel from Kazakhstan and Niger but as far as uh, Eastern Europe is a different story listen to this Czech Republic, Hungary, Finland, Bulgaria, Romania and Slovakia there is no authorized nuclear fuel alternative to Russian supply and this is very concerning as we are 100% dependent on Russian nuclear fuel there has been talk between those five countries, an American supplier, Westinghouse, about manufacturing a replacement fuel for those Russian reactors. It seems that it could work, but in two years. So uh, they are again shooting themselves in the foot, you know, hurting their economies, hurting their industry, for no reason other than stick it up to Russia. And this is having the expected effect in the market that is going to drive up the uranium prices and here is the most important part Moscow doesn't make much money from exporting nuclear fuel so they are just doing it kind of a, as a political move you know, they are hoping to hurt uh, Russia in some form even if it is a small just want to say okay we are doing the right thing um, they want to target also the infrastructure business which includes building reactors in the EU through Rosatom and they hope that Rosatom will be under sanctions and they will they are expecting that Rosatom business in Europe should be stuck with sanctions and what are they going to do with all those nuclear plants I don't know who's going to do them maybe they want you know United States to do it for them so that's the current state of uh, affairs in Russia, um, in Europe. So yeah, nothing, nothing positive. And so, but they keep trying. They keep trying to keep this uh, stupid stance that doesn't have any benefits for themselves and is not really hurting Russia. I imagine, 
uh, I don't have the information specifically, but I imagine that there will be some other countries who sh will be willing to buy uranium from Russia. That's just my guess. Yeah, I think there is an international market for this. So let's see how it goes. So as always, guys, um, I'm asking you to like this video, share it in social media, subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you again soon and thank you for watching.